Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Native War Paints Hot Donna and I'm going to stamp with gray on it. I want you guys to catch a look at this. This is such a pretty shade. It's almost like a melon, like a rosy melon color. I'm so, so in love with this. And there's like a blue green flash in it that just jumps off the nail. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. I wasn't expecting that um, shimmer to pop out the way it does, but oh my goodness, it just jumps. So here we go with the second coat of this beautiful polish, Hot Donna. Oh, I was ready for a color like this. Look at that. I'm going to top it with some posh top coat. Get it to dry down so we can do some stamping. And these are my short nails. We did my nubbies on the other hand, and now this hand's getting a whole different manicure because that's how we roll over here. Love it. Oh. I'm going to be stamping with this XYL15 acrylic plate from AliExpress. It's really hard to see, so I put it up on the thing. And this is In Smoke by um, Nicole Diary and my Beauty Big Bang Scraper and my Maniology Stamper. And we're just going to use this. Um, I'm going to use two of them just off of this plate. Both of them are roses. This is like a group of roses. I'm doing that on most of the fingernails. And then on my accent nail, I'll be doing a different image. Here we go. Now this wasn't showing up the way I saw it in my head, so I'm going in with a lighter um, polish. It's the light gray from Born Pretty, and I'm just going over the top of that original stamping with it. And I think for the most part it looks really good. See there's that gray stamping polish, that's what it looks like. I didn't show it, so I figured I'd throw a picture in. <laughs> But I am just trying to go over that to kind of make it show up a little better. Now, I'm going to show you, um, after you see this on my nail, it's a muddy stamp. I didn't get a very good scrape on it, and I didn't realize it. So the stamping looks very muddy, but I decided it still looked really cool because after I top coated it, I could see that blue shimmer like just jumping out from under there, even through the stamping. It was just kind of cool looking and although I wasn't real pleased with myself for doing some muddy stamping I still really liked it I'm gonna top it with some smudge free top coat from bundle monster <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that flash coming through there maybe not um, but I really did like it I'm still wearing it actually after like three or four days so uh, you know couldn't have been all bad it's just different <laughs> There's Woody. Gotta help me clean up here. So there we go. And now I'm gonna top it with my posh top coat. This is my final step on this manicure. Get that. Okay, now maybe you're gonna be able to see the flash when I turn my nail. I don't know. I don't know if you're seeing it or not. But oh, I love it. Love how that flash still comes through. Looks like a totally different polish. <laughs> Hot Donna has changed. So, I really did like this one, though. I, you know, I enjoyed it, and I hope that you enjoyed seeing this one. Uh, I always ask to hear your comments about these manicures, and many of you do leave me comments. I do appreciate it. I like talking polish with you. So, as usual, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And that is my manicure for today. Oh, we got some, got some more woody action going on here. He's... He's got to get in there and get it all straightened up, even the clear stuff. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you for watching. And as always, be good to yourself. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.